Hello. There are several moves in manual handling which are of a higher risk than the standard moves. Because of this, the Manual Handling Department, the Trust Fire Safety Advisor and Medical Photography have put together two training DVDs to show you or remind you how they are to be done so that you don't get injured while practicing them. We're going to be showing you two emergency or urgent moves which hopefully you will not be required to do very often. Ski sheets and ski pads are used for emergency or vertical evacuation prior to which you would have performed a progressive horizontal evacuation to a stairway using the patient bed or trolley. We are going to show you the use of a ski sheet first which are used with static mattresses and then the use of a ski pad which is used with a dynamic mattress for evacuation of dependent patients. Check that the ski sheets are in the correct position under static mattresses every day. Ski sheets place the pillow over the patient's chest. Pull the straps from under the mattress and fasten the straps across the patient's legs and chest. Pull tight to secure the patient. Move the bed to its lowest level and tilt the foot down. Remove the end of the bed. Preferably one handler should grasp the ski sheet loops at the end of the bed, grasping straps close to the pad, and bring the mattress onto the floor, lengthening the straps as you do so. Two people must take care to protect the head as it comes off the end of the bed. When off the bed, one person from the top helps the person at the foot end to move the patient towards the stairs. When passing through doors, ensure feet to go first. For the vertical evacuation of highly dependent patients who are on dynamic mattresses, now let us turn to the ski pad. Ski pads are strategically located around ward areas where we'd expect dynamic or biwave mattresses to be used. But first, move the patient on their bed using the principles of progressive horizontal evacuation moving towards a stairwell. Go to the nearest ski pad Pull the lower flap enabling the ski pad to drop down. There is no need to unhook the bag. Wrap the patient in a sheet and then roll the patient onto their side. Place the ski pad along the side of the patient and then roll the patient back onto the ski pad. Two or three people may be required to slide the ski pad under the patient and then adjust. Lift the legs from under the knees and slide the patient's feet into the ski pad pocket. Place a pillow onto the patient's chest. Fasten the straps across the patient's leg and chest, pulling tight to secure the patient. Move the bed to its lowest level and tilt the foot down. Remove the end of the bed. Preferably one handler should grasp the ski pad loops at the end of the bed and bring the pad onto the floor. Two people that must take care to protect the head end as it comes off the bed. When off the bed the one person from the top helps the person at the foot end to move the patient towards the stairs. The method of stair descent is the same for ski sheets and ski pads. Here we're demonstrating with a ski pad. During the stair descent patients should be transferred feet first. Two people may be required at the head end. Ensure the person at the head end places the leading foot under the ski sheet or ski pad this will help guide the descent. The person at the foot end needs to grab the straps in close to the patient and pull forward, watching as the weight shifts just before the waist and then lengthening out the straps as the descent begins. Watch how the team exaggerate going round corners following the wall. This is to ensure the patient doesn't collide with the handrails. 
We hope you have found this DVD useful. However, this is purely an introduction. You must practice these maneuvers using the training mannequin so you can experience firsthand the practicalities of using vertical evacuation aids. And remember, vertical evacuation should be considered as a last resort. Successful horizontal evacuation may result in vertical evacuation being unnecessary. This has been a training presentation by the Royal Berkshire Trust Manual Handling Department and the Trust Fire Safety Advisor. Our thanks go to Eddie and Joe for their assistance in making this DVD.